Thanks for joining us in the Cultured Meat and Future Food Show. We're really excited to have David Kay on, on this episode. And actually, you know, David Kay is returning. So there is a previous episode with David that we could share in the links. Now, this episode is a special edition episode that's really an update for the cell cultured meat industry. Uh, Upside Foods has received the first green light from FDA uh, for cultivated meat by providing a no questions letter. And we'll kind of get into what that means. But without further ado, David, I'd like to welcome you back to the Cultured Meat and Future Food Show. Thank you, Alex. I am delighted to be here again. David, for those who might not be familiar with Upside Foods, uh, maybe listening for the first time, uh, tell us a little bit about what Upside Foods uh, is. Sure. So Upside Foods is the world's first cultivated meat company. So that is we are growing delicious meat directly from animal cells without the need to raise and slaughter billions and billions of animals each year. And so we're based in Berkeley, California. We were founded in 2015. Again, at the time, there were no other cultivated meat companies in the world. Today, there's close to 100 ac across the globe. And we are really laser focused on bringing uh, on a few things. One is bringing our first commercial product to the market, which will be cultivated chicken. Um, but then another is uh, scaling up our production system. And so I'm actually speaking right now in the heart of Epic, which is our engineering production and innovation center in Emeryville, California. And this is really the first uh, and the, the world's most advanced, I should say, production facility for cultivated meat. And it definitely looks very cool. And so we've we've heard about this no questions letter and and you know the the letter is publicly available and it you know it's it's not necessarily a letter that says we have no questions. It's a full-on letter describing kind of, you know, the, the process thus far. Uh, but maybe could you tell us a little bit about what that means exactly? Absolutely. Yeah. So this is a truly historic moment for the cultivated meat industry. And what this means is that Upside Foods has become the first cultivated meat company in the world to receive this no question letters from FDA. And so what does that mean? That is essentially a regulatory green light from FDA. And what it means is that after an incredibly rigorous review process, they have accepted Upside Foods safety conclusion. And that as soon as we complete the remaining regulatory steps with USDA, we'll be able to start commercializing our products for consumers in the US. And so it was an incredibly thorough and rigorous process. And Alex, as you said, uh, it's not just a simple no questions letter. FDA goes through in very fine detail in these public documents and explains what data and information they looked at, why they ultimately accepted our safety conclusion. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Upside Foods uh, released a, a 104 page document, which is also available publicly which describes how we got our safety data, the, pro the production process, and really goes into unprecedented detail. So it's a really exciting moment and uh, for, for the entire industry. And we know that it's not just FDA that handles approvals and jurisdiction in this area. It goes on to USDA for chicken and, and other types of reviews. So you know what, what really is the next step in, in the process? That's exactly right. So now that we have the no questions letter from FDA, the next step is to work with USDA to obtain a grant of inspection and also to obtain a label approval. And once we have both of those things, we will be able to start commercially producing product and selling it to consumers in the U.S. Now, I wanted to kind of ask you a broad question. You know, what, what does this really mean for not just actually the cultivated meat industry in general, but really the, the meat industry in general? It is a huge, huge watershed moment for the industry. I don't think it's possible to overstate how historic this moment is for cultivated meat and for the food system more generally. What it means is that cultivated meat is closer today than it has ever been to dinner plates across the country in the U.S. And it's a truly watershed moment. It is truly historic, not just for Upside Foods, but for the entire industry. I think one, it is an incredibly legitimizing moment for the industry. You know, when when Upside Foods was founded in 2015, again, there were no cultivated meat companies other than Upside Foods at the time Memphis Meats. And the notion that there would be this regulatory green light just felt like it was so far away. The industry was so young and so nascent. And I think uh, in the subsequent uh, seven or so years, we have really seen Upside Foods mature and really champion the regulatory system that we have today. Um, and we've also seen the industry really mature and proliferate. 
um, and really develop an ecosystem that was devoted to producing safe products on a level playing field in a transparent way. And I think today's step is probably the biggest step towards that future than we've seen before. Now, there was a, a pretty uh, interesting uh, publication in the New York Times, uh, Upside Foods uh, published something, and uh, we, we have a sample here, so let me go ahead and play it. Okay, so, so all jokes aside, um, you know, tell us a, a little bit about what that publication was. Sure. So we wanted to really celebrate this incredible regulatory milestone, and we wanted to celebrate it with the population that will be most impacted by it. And that is, of course, chicken, since our first product will be cultivated chicken. And so uh, we thought about what newspapers they're most likely to be reading. So we decided to publish an open letter to chickens in the New York Times, and we wrote that in chicken language. So I have a copy of it right here. It's in the November 18th edition. And you'll see literally, it's the New York Times. Literally, it is a letter written in chicken signed by our CEO and founder, Uma Valetti. And if folks out there do not speak chicken, I do not, um, there is a QR code that you can scan and it will take you to an English translation. And the English translation is on a website uh, called upsidechickenletter.com. So if you just go there, you can see the English version. And essentially what it is, is an introduction to the cultivated meat industry, the why, the what, the how, um, and then also uh, a description of this super exciting event, uh, what just happened with FDA and why that is going to have such a positive impact on the planet, on animal welfare, and on public health. I love uh, I love that it is in chicken language, <laughs> um, and and you know thinking about what that creative session was like is is actually sounds a lot of fun. But uh, definitely check out that that letter at upsidechickenletter.com. You can see the translated text. I guess that's the official terminology translated text uh, of this very powerful letter. So for those kind of hearing about cultivated meat for the first time, you know what kind of steps can you know, these listeners take to kind of help advance the industry or, or move things forward? Yeah, it's a great question um, because before we're selling product, um, it's really a matter of education. And so if this is the first time you're hearing about cultivated meat, I'd say just learn about it. Look it up. Uh, there's so much information out there about what it is, about how it's made, about, you know, the companies out there, including Upside Foods and why we are doing this, what impact this could have, whether it's for the 8 billion chickens that are slaughtered each year in the U.S., or the environmental impact that cultivated meat could help with, or the public health component of it as well. Um, if you are already familiar with cultivated meat, then I would say spread the word. You know, the, the closer we get to commercialization, the more important this consumer education piece is. And that is something that we have really been focusing on recently and are going to continue to lean into as we approach uh, and, and sell our first products. Um, and so one very tangible way to do that, that you could literally do right now, is take out your phone and share on your social media channels, upsidechickenletter.com, uh, because this was really meant to be a gateway into the cultivated meat industry for those who may have never heard about it before and are going to be curious about what this new product is out there on the market. So again, go to your social media platform, share upsidechickenletter.com, and you can really help spread the word and start increasing that consumer education for the world. David, thank you again for, for joining us once again on the Cultured Meat and Future Food Show. Any last insights before we close things off for today? I would just say, Alex, thank you for being involved in this mission and this journey from day one. It's been super exciting to have you along the ride and, uh, and to be a part of this truly historic watershed moment in the cultivated meat industry. So thank you. David, thank you for the kind words. And, uh, and you know, with that, we'll close this episode off. You know, this is your host, Alex, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank you so much. 